He's one of the greatest musicians I've ever met. And so it's really, That's it's nice. amazing nice. to be able to have That's a brother. Lovely. <laughs> All right, you don't have to listen to me. I'll just talk to him about it after this. <laughs> She's going to talk to you about how amazing you are. We're going to have a little different transition. I'll, I'll go over here. Yeah, see you later. <laughs>
Yeah. So oh, yeah. It's just sort of been nonstop. And, um, so now we have a break and we're making this record. We're super excited about the music. Yeah. And, um, but it is sort of, you sort of need to find your different vices because you can't always be creating music and producing music. So I love collaging. Elliot's been getting super into making murals and doing crepas. And you need to find other outlets for creativity so that music, which we're most of all passionate about, it, it doesn't become uh, a chore. Sometimes it's great to play a show after you've been on a little bit of a break. Like oh, yeah. Or like t today. today we hadn't seen anybody in the band in a couple, like maybe a month or something. We've been really working on all these different things. Then you just come back. Sometimes getting disconnected from something can be really helpful to just like open things up and you're like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. I'm going to do whatever I want I mean, today. You, you know, just like. Kind of come out and say, it was so cool today. You just kind of came out and I was just like, this is, this is me. Blowing. This is my band. We fucking roll, you fucking roll, so let's party right now. It was such a good show. Hi, Jimmy Shaw. Hey, man. Um, so this is pretty nice. It's beautiful. There are worse places to, uh, to play a festival. Yeah, absolutely. I think we both played a few of them. Yes, we have, together, in fact. <laughs> yeah. One of the places that I like hanging out at in your life is your home. Yeah, me too. You have a massive grand piano on your second floor. I do. How did it get there? Because it's kind of, um, like, it doesn't really seem to make sense. Well, no, I mean, it, you know, there were, like, large Eastern European men that screamed at me until it was up there. We showed up at this to play this gig at the end of, like, a two-month run, and none of the gear showed up. So okay. I ended up doing the whole show with like a like an Epiphone 335 and like a big muffin and delay pedal. Yeah. Which in the day I was like, yeah, 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 I'm, you know, we're rock and roll. Just get me a hollow body and a d distortion pedal, and I'll be fine. But it was absolutely beyond brutal. Yeah, like it was awful. Yeah. So I took I a nice feeling. the day next day I, I, we flew home and I took my chunk of the money gig mm. and I looked on Craigslist yeah. and I drove up to North York and. Bought a couple bought of, of European men. <laughs> bought a couple of, <laughs> of two guys from the Czech Republic and a seven-foot grand piano. Yeah, for for, for five hundred dollars. <laughs> I wish. So your performance is—it was amazing. You really engage with your audience. Mm. Well, like each show, you're never going to have the same collection of individuals. So uh, each show will literally be the last time those people are assembled in our existence. Um, like I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so I make sure I'm, I'm, I'm giving 100% of my energy back to them. I saw you today with a full band, mm -hmm. and I uh, haven't seen you with a full band before. Mm -hmm. And you've designed your live band in a, in a really smart way. It's basically just the, like, the old country music troubadour. A uh, model you where like you yeah. go to each city, except instead of those just being random hired guns, they're all my friends that I've met through like playing like DIY shows, like in like house parties and stuff across the country. And then I can just fly in and we can play that night. So that's brilliant, and that also makes each show uh, completely unique. Yeah, yeah. It's like a different conversation with different musicians on stage playing your music. Yeah. You wanted me to play on your record. I did. Yeah. What happened? I, I, you're just such a I, busy man. I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got, got a lot of your friends though. So. You did. That's yeah. True. Um, well, maybe, maybe next time. Yeah. You know, I, I should we offers, shake on it right now? Offers, offers stands. This I, is I, uh, future record right here. I have to, I have to follow through now. <laughs> Thanks, Richard Point. Thanks so much. I'm gonna give you a hug while we're sitting in the swing. Thank you.